only going to do it if you guys do it with me. So Catherine gets to relax a minute. First, to hold your reins, take your thumb and put it on top of your forefinger with a slight bend in the thumb. Come on, I want to see you guys do this. Thumb on top of your forefinger, no pens in your hand, a slight bend in the thumb. And you keep, a, that's where you hold the rein, but it's very important to keep a slight bend in the thumb. If you make the thumb flat, feel that stiff in you? Make your thumb flat. Feel how stiff that makes your hand? You want to have a slight bend. Now, your other fingers, and the rein should come out near the base of your fingers. The other fingers should touch the palm of your hand. Touch. Don't grip. If you grip, you'll feel how stiff that makes your hands. Don't grip. Just touch. Now, to soften your horse, your minimal softening aid is to vibrate your fingers, not your index finger. Only vibrate your other fingers. And by the way, we usually don't use the pinky because it just can't hold anything. If you pull on your pinky, take your other hand and pull on your pinky, and it can hold nothing. Pull on your ring finger, and it's very strong. So generally, when riders ride, they do not use their pinky because it doesn't have enough muscle connected in the forearm. There's no muscles in your hand anyway. They're in your forearm. But it, so you leave the pinky out because it's just too weak. And so you, the minimal hand aid is to vibrate the other fingers. Then, if you need a little more softening hand, you vibrate your wrist. Not talking this. We're talking vibrate. Now try that. Vibrate your wrist. And vi now, see how good you can get. Vibrate your wrist and vibrate your fingers. Okay? Then, at the walk and the canter, you also need to follow the horse's head. Horses can't help but nod their head at the walk and the canter. So at the walk and the canter, follow the horse's head. Come on, let's see you guys do that. I want to see these hands following. Now vibrate your fingers, vibrate your wrists, and keep following. And if you have to follow your horse's head at the trot, it's lame, so take it back to the barn. Okay? Okay. <laughs>